The pilot was originally called Space Family Robinson, which pretty much summed it up. Here's this family, and they're stranded on an unknown planet. It was, we, you know, the concept wasn't really that we were Star Trek going across the galaxy. We just took off and crash landed and had to deal with the alien. It was a pioneer family dealing with the unknown alien environment. Alien environment. That was the concept of Lost in Space. And it was uh, a serious adventure. Ensemble show. It was, you know, I, 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 and it, it didn't stay that way very long. And those decisions weren't mine to make. I always, I felt a little bad, to tell you the truth. Because I bonded with everybody on the pilot. Very much so, right away. Loved them all. Fell in love with Angela Cartwright the minute I saw her. And, and June Lockhart is a wonderful, wonderful, brilliant woman who for over three years would keep my mind exercising itself. If we were waiting for a, a shot, we'd play Password. If we weren't playing Password, we'd be playing Scrabble. Uh, you know, she's great at, at, at being smart and sharing that with others. It was a, it was a wonderful experience. Um, but it became, you know, the character of Dr. Smith and the character of the robot were not in the pilot. It was just the family and Mark Goddard, the pilot. So uh, CBS, which actually was smart to do, when, once the series was uh, greenlit and we were getting ready to go into production, it was the, net, the network's decision to add a, a villain, a, a, you know, a, a nefarious bad guy that the audience was aware of was really a bad guy, but the family wasn't quite so sure about it. And let's have a robot. This is space. This is sci-fi. You know, let's put a robot in there. So uh, Bob Kinoshida, who had designed Robbie the Robot for Forbidden Planet, uh, designed our robot, the B9 robot, which is very cool. You know, I mean, the props and the ship and the the chariot and the, I mean, it looks great. It holds up. It really. I mean, I, I know it got really stupid. But it, it, the, the, the design of Lost in Space initially was really impressive, and God, I loved it. I just loved it. Um, but within maybe a dozen episodes or so, the tone of the show pretty much shifted from an ensemble adventure, pioneer family against the alien environment show to a... Dr. Smith the Robot and Will Robinson show. Now, being Will Robinson and being the good guy uh, opposite Dr. Smith who was the manipulative, cowardly, but, you know, bad guy, uh, I loved what I had to do. But I was very aware of the fact that my friends uh, were greatly diminished. There's a lot of talk about things and I'd like to say, set the record straight, it was never an unpleasant set. It really wasn't. I've been on unpleasant sets. It was never an unpleasant set. Whether Guy Williams and June Lockhart had their agents call Irwin Allen and say, hey, what's happening here? That's, I'm sure they did. But it was never like Guy's not coming out of his trailer. It was never like June doesn't know her lines. It was never like animosity between Jonathan Harris and anybody else. The cast and the crew, we all got along really well. There was never any unpleasant energy between the cast, between Jonathan and Guy and June or anything like that. We all got along fine. I don't think everybody was happy with the way the tone of the show shifted, and I can understand that. Uh, but I loved all those people equally. And uh, I never had a bad day, personally. You know, I, like I said, I really would go back to it. I'd love to go back to it. I really would.